Praise the Lord and good morning to you, beloved in Christ. I hope by His grace you are all well. Uh, you are welcome to another session of our morning dew. This is where we all gather to commence our day with Christ Jesus, to commit everything into His hands for Him to lead us in our in our day daily activities, to ensure that our day is is led by His Spirit, to ensure that our day is filled with joy our day is filled with uh, with productivity our day is filled with his blessings with good health with with his kindness and 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 all the good stuff and we are here to say thank you jesus for everything that he continues to do even being counted amongst the living this morning is by his grace it's not everyone that's that's had this opportunity to be here this morning, to be alive this morning, to be in good health this morning. But by His grace, we are here in good health. We are here free, not locked up. We are here uh, 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 with, with smiles on our faces. And just for those reasons alone, um, we, 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 we must thank God for his greatness for what he continues to do in our lives and so therefore um i would encourage each and every one of us to raise a voice of gratitude to god this morning and say thank you father thank you lord thank you jesus for your love and kindness thank you jesus for your mercies thank you god for everything that you continue to do in my life and in the lives of my family. Shall we begin to pray this prayer right now? Thank you, Father Lord, for your love and, and kindness. Thank you, Father Lord, for everything that you continue to do in, in, in my life and the lives of my family. For your divine protection and your guidance. For everything, for your strength, for your peace. Father Lord, the peace that the world, does, the, the world cannot give, you give unto us freely. Father, Lord, and for that, we are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. She karabo. We want to thank you this morning. We want to thank you. Sharaba she karabama. She karabo. Sharaba sha karababo. Sharaba she karababe. Sha karama. Sharababo. Sha karababa she karababo. Sharababa. Sharabe. Sha karamama she karababe. Sharababo. Sha karababa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your love and kindness. Thank you, Jesus, for your love and kindness. Thank you, Jesus, for your protection. Thank you, Jesus, for your love, for your peace. Father, Lord, we are grateful unto you for everything that you continue to do in our lives. We are grateful, Father, Lord, for everything that you have done. We are grateful, Father, Lord, for everything that you are yet to do. Father, we say may your name be praised in the name of Jesus. Sharama shi karababu. Sha karabe sharababa shi karababe sha karamama. Sha karaba shi karababu sharababa shi karababe. Sha rama shi karababa sha karababu sha karababa. Shi karaba sharababu sha karamama. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sha rabe shi karababa. Sha karaba shi karababu. Sha rama sha karababu shi karababa sha karababe sha karama. She karaba sharababu sha karababa she karababe sharamama. Sha raba she karababu. Continue to pray and thank God. He deserves our thanksgiving. He deserves our gratitude. He, de he deserves to be praised. He deserves to be lifted. He is good and his mercies endureth forever. Without him, we wouldn't be counted amongst the living this morning. Without him, we wouldn't live to see another day. And therefore, we we are here to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The Bible says that the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. 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 We want to thank him this morning for his faithfulness. Shakarabe sharababashi karamama. Thank you, O Lord. Thank you. Thank you, O Lord. Thank you. Shikarabe sharamama. Sha karaba shi karababu sharamama sha karababe. Sha raba shi karababe sharamama sha karababa. Sha karaba shi karababu sharababa sha karababu. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord for everything that He has done. 
Beloved, it does not it does not matter what you are facing. It does not matter what trials or tribulations that we are facing. In all things, in all things, the Bible says in First Thessalonians chapter five verse eighteen that in everything we should give thanks for this is the will of God. And therefore, no matter what we are facing, no matter what we are going through, we will continue to say thank you, Jesus. We will continue to say thank you, O Lord. We will continue to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. For this is the will of God. Whatever we are going through right now is the will of God. And therefore, we should thank God for, for, for everything. We should thank God in regardless of everything that we are going through this morning. In regardless of everything that we have been going through uh for the past days or weeks. Sharaba, she karababu, sha karababa. Sharabi, sha karababu. Continue to pray, continue to pray, continue to pray. She karabu, sharababa, sha karababa, she karabame. Sharaba, sha karababu, sharabama, she karababa. Sharabi, sha karababa, sha karabama, she karababi, sharababa, sha karababi. Sha karaba, she karabama, sharababu, sha karababa. The steadfast love. Of the Lord never ceases, His mercies never come to an end. Oh, they are new every morning, oh, new every morning. Oh, great is thy faithfulness, O oh, Lord, great is thy faithfulness. They are new, they are new every morning, O oh, new every morning. Oh, great is thy faithfulness, O oh, Lord, great is thy faithfulness. They are new, they are new every morning, O oh, new. Every morning, great is thy faithfulness, O oh Lord, O oh great is thy faithfulness. Beloved, I want us to continue to pray, committing this gathering into the hands of the Lord. Let's pray, committing this gathering into the hands of the Lord. The Bible says that we can make our own plans, but the Lord determines or orders our steps according to Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. So therefore, without God in our midst, our plans, our, our, our ways, the Bible says that unless he builds, unless he builds, unless he builds, whatever the builders do is a waste of time. And therefore, we need him to lead us. We need him to guide our steps. We need the Holy Spirit to lead. We are praying for the, for the prominence of the Holy Spirit in our midst. We are praying that the Holy Spirit will take dominion over this gathering. The Bible says where two or three are gathered in his name, there he is. And therefore, we believe that he is in our, in our midst. We are praying that the Holy Spirit will take control. The Holy Spirit will take the will. The Holy Spirit will lead us in all things. We are praying in the name of Jesus that he will lead us, he will fill us, that what, whatever will, 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 will be happening in our midst uh, this morning, we are praying that the Holy Spirit will take control, the Holy Spirit will take dominion in the name of Jesus, that nothing we will do here will be by our own might, by our own flesh, but by the, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Shall we pray this prayer? Sharabu, Holy Ghost, Shakaramashi Karababe, Sharabashi Karababu, Sharamama Shakarababe, Shi Karababa, Holy Spirit, take control. Holy Spirit, take control. Shi Karama, Father, we commit this session into your mighty hands. We commit this session into your mighty hands. Shi Karabe, Sharababa. 
we are praying for you for you to take dominion in the name of jesus we are praying oh lord that your spirit will be prominent in our life in our in our midst we are praying in the name of jesus Shakari, Shikarababa, that your holy spirit will take dominion in the name of jesus father lead 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 this session lead this session in the name of jesus we do not want to rely on our own strength we do not want to rely on our own knowledge but father lord we want to father be led by your spirit we want to be led by your spirit in every aspect oh lord in the name of jesus holy spirit take control holy spirit take control holy spirit you are the teacher holy spirit take control holy spirit you are our leader Holy Spirit, take control. Lead us, lead us, lead us. Empower us, enrich us. Fill us with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. In the name of Jesus, Father, empower and strengthen us, O Lord. Even as we have come together, O Lord, let your spirit manifest. Let the power of the Holy Ghost manifest. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we want to encounter your manifestation power. In the name of Jesus, she karaba, sharaba, she karababu. Sharabashi Karababi Sharamama. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. We need you. We need you. We need you. We cannot do without you, O Lord. 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 Holy Spirit, take the lead. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shakarabushi Karamama. Sharabi Shakarababu Shi Karabama Sharababi Shakarababa. Sharama Shi Karababu Sharababa Shi Karababi Sharababa. Shakarama Shi Karababu Sharababi Shakarababa Shi Karababa. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Beloved, let's continue to pray that the Lord will prepare our hearts to receive his word tonight, this morning. That the Lord will prepare our hearts to receive his word this morning. In the name of Jesus, we are praying and coming against any hindrances. We are praying and coming against any stump, stumbling blocks. We are praying and coming against any walls of Jericho that may hinder us from receiving his word this morning we are praying in the name of jesus that he will he will he will he will, he will prepare our hearts he will prepare our hearts to receive his word and even as we receive his word we are praying that his word will manifest in our lives in the name of jesus she karabasharababu shakarabama she kare sharabasha karababu she karamama we come against every plans of the evil one oh lord in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that may hinder us from receiving from you this morning. Father, Lord, take control. Father, Lord, take control. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. She karaba sharababu shakarabama she karababu shakaraba she karamama sharabi shakarababa she karababi sharamama shakarababa she karababa I will i will bless bless the lord oh and give him all the glory i i will i will bless bless his name and give him all the glory i will i will i will bless bless the lord oh and give him all the glory i i will I will bless, bless his name, and give him all the glory. Oh, he has become my salvation. Oh, he, he has become my salvation oh the lord is my strength and, and my song 
Oh, é my song. Oh, he has become my salvation. Oh, he has become my salvation. Oh, the Lord is my strength, oh, and my soul, oh, and my soul. Beloved, I want us to pray this prayer. I want us to pray this prayer. I am led to, 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 to pray this prayer for someone who is going through a time of difficulty. A time of difficulty. But the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 43. That even when we go through deep waters. He will be with us. Even when we go through rivers of difficulties. We will not drown. And that is because he is with us. He is with us. He will never give up on us. Even as we were singing and we were praying. It dawned on me to, 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 to pray this prayer. And I want, us, I want us to pray together for this person, whoever it, it may be, that the person might, might be watching us this morning. We are praying in the name of Jesus that no matter how difficult the situation is, we are praying that the Holy Spirit, who is our helper, the Holy Spirit, who is our advocate. The Holy Spirit, who is our comforter. Will comfort this person in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray this prayer? Sha Rabashi Karababi. Sha Karama Shi Karababu Sharababa Sha Karababa Shi Karabasharababu. Shara bashi karama me shara baba sha kara baba shi kara babe shara ba sha kara bo shara ma shi kara baba sha kara babo shara baba holy spirit holy ghost sha kara ma shi kara babe holy ghost our comforter holy ghost our comforter shi kara bo shara baba we are calling upon you right now take control in the name of Jesus no matter what the situation is. You, Father Lord, says that you will fight for us and we need only to be still, according to Exodus 14, 14. You, O oh Lord, say that we should cast our burdens onto you for you care. Father Lord, take control. Take control over the situation. Whatever the situation is, Father Lord, whatever the situation is, we are praying that you will comfort this individual. We are praying that, Father Lord, you will, you will, you will, you will, Father Lord, help this individual through the power of your spirit. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Praise be to the Almighty. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Beloved, God richly bless you for availing yourselves once again this morning to be in his presence. Uh, this morning, I would just like us to continue from where we stopped um, last, I believe it was the last session um, that I was on. Um, we, 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 we spoke about uh, the Christian, the Christian's role in evangelism, the Christian's role in evangelism, and I, I, I made mention of a few points. Uh, we spoke about evangelism being the sole responsibility of every believer, and every believer being obliged to spread the gospel, the good news, as it has, it has been instructed. Hallelujah! It has been commanded. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, that uh, Jesus spoke in authority. In authority. He said that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. So therefore, go. 
So he spoke in authority and commanded for us to go and fulfill that great commission. So therefore, it is it is an obligation. It is a responsibility of every believer. Hallelujah. And we also um, uh, uh, touched on uh, 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 um, uh, evangelism being the evangelism ministry only being uh, the spearhead and creating awareness and equipping for the job. But doesn't necessarily mean that it is only the evangelism ministry that does the job. We, we all, we all must be a part of the evangelism ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And therefore, that's, that's why the Bible says that when, 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 um, um, when we receive the power of the Holy Spirit, for, for, for we shall receive power when the Spirit comes upon us. And when the Spirit comes upon us, we do not sit back and relax. When the Spirit comes upon us, we do not, you know, go to one corner and just and just r r chill out and just relax. But when the Spirit comes upon us, the Bible says that that we 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 will we will become witnesses. Hallelujah! We will become witnesses, telling people about, you know, the the love of God, bringing people to Christ reconciling people back to him which is our ministry so we made mention of all these things in in the last session and then uh briefly i just want to touch on the types of evangelism i won't take much of your time at all uh hopefully we can wrap this up in within 10 minutes so that you can go about your day and have a, a blessed and a productive day even as we have met together this morning to commit uh, our day into the hands of the Lord. And so therefore, I want us to touch on the types of evangelism, the types of evangelism. And before we proceed with that, I would, I would like to say that evangelism becomes effective. Evangelism only becomes effective when the purpose of God for witnessing has been achieved in a particular place or an individual. So evangelism becomes effective when the purpose of God for witnessing has been achieved in a particular place or in an individual. That is when we can say that it, the evangelism that we, we went out for has been effective. Amen. Amen. And so there are two main types, or should I say methods, of evangelism. Um, which are the uh, the mass evangelism and the uh, personal evangelism. And I'll touch briefly on these two and we will pray. Amen. Amen. So the, the, the mass evangelism, when we say mass evangelism, is self-explanatory. It's, it's, it's any form of evangelism where there are more than one person any form of evangelism where there, there are more than one person so two three four five people makes it a mass evangelism when we 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 are you know a good example would be um street evangelism um open air evangelism rallies campaigns conventions uh, gospel festivals, church services, funerals, weddings. We can have a mass evangelism in, in, in all these environments. You know, when we stand and, and we, we preach the word of God to, to people, two, three people, we are practicing mass evangelism. And we, we can see that um, it was evident in, in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 2, when you read the book of Acts chapter 2, uh, Peter's first uh, witness, where 3,000 souls, the Bible says that 3,000 souls were won for Christ. That was a mass evangelism that was being practiced by Peter. 
And then another example uh, can also be found in the book of Acts chapter chapter 8, verse, verse 4 to 8. This was right after uh, Stephen had been stoned to death. And the Christ, the Bible says that the, the, there was persecution. And people, people were scattered all over the place. People were scattered all over, all, all, over, all over the place. People were running for their lives. You know, and during that moment, in the midst of the persecution, the Bible says that Philip preached to a multitude in Samaria. And uh, when, when I read that particular scripture, I, 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 was, I was touched. I was touched. And at the same time, it made me feel like, you know, our, our day to day is, 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 is nothing compared to, to those times. You know, it's, it seems like the efforts is not being, the work is not being put in as much as it's meant to be because when you when you read Acts chapter 8 the bible says that there there was persecution people were being arrested put in thrown into jail uh, Saul at the time was the leader arresting uh, christians throwing them into jail i believe people were being killed you know and in the midst of in the midst of all this Peter was evangelizing. I mean, Philip was evangelizing. He was preaching to multitude. The Bible says that he he stood and he was he was preaching in Samaria. And it 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 only takes the power. It only takes the power of the Holy Ghost. It only takes the power of the Holy Ghost. No man can do this in their own strength. It only takes the power of the Holy Ghost, and therefore, last week, last in the last session, I also mentioned that evangelism is led by the Holy Spirit. We cannot just get up and say we are going out there to evangelize. If we attempt to do that, we will fail. Evangelism is led by the Holy Spirit. So before we, before we, we, we even go out to preach the gospel. Before we go out to, to share the good news with our friends and, and colleagues and, 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 and everyone out there, we must spend time with Christ. We must, we must, we must commit everything into the hands of the Lord and, and ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide our steps. Ask the Holy Spirit to grant us the, the wisdom and the knowledge that requires for us to, to share the word. We, we, we might think that we, we know everything in the bible and so therefore we just have to go there and, and preach but beloved if we if we tried if we try to do this in our own strength we will fail and so therefore evangelism must be led by the spirit in order for, for it to take full effect hallelujah hallelujah so that's mass evangelism where we preach to two or more people and as we can see, uh, Peter practiced that. Uh, Philip also practi practiced um, that, and 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 therefore, you know, we can we believers we can all also practice that. Hallelujah! And then we come to the personal evangelism. The personal evangelism. This is uh, a one-to-one -one approach. A one-to-one -one approach. You know to the proclamation of the good news about jesus about jesus and in this case normally once once um in this case the the, the converted is 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 pursued we pursue the the converted and the disciple into christian maturity so once we've we've had the one to one to one we do not just end there once we've had the one-to-one -one and we've brought that individual to Christ, we ensure that, you know, we pursue uh, and, and, and continue to help them into Christian maturity because it does not end there. The work does not end there. So we ensure that we are calling, we are keeping in touch with this person. We are, we are calling them individually, uh, uh, calling them daily or, or 
making sure that you know if they have any questions if they're going through any challenges because it is not easy it is not easy once 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 you accept christ it doesn't mean that everything the world just stops and everything just moves on smoothly it, it, that's not how it works so once that first stage has been uh, that first step has been accomplished we have to ensure that we keep track we we, we continue to to communicate stay in touch and 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 guide them into christian maturity hallelujah and um this this particular one can be done in so many ways uh door to door can be done through uh door to door uh friendships you know if you have a friend who um whom you you are close to whom you talk to you can begin a one to one uh, evangelism with with them uh, even households there are some households where you might be the only one um, who have accepted Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, but your siblings haven't, maybe your parents haven't, you can practice a one-to-one -one evangelism um, with them. You can apply that one-to-one -one approach, um, you know, pers personal visitations, uh, prisons, hospitals, orphanages. Uh, a one-to-one -one evangelism can be practiced there. And we 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 when when you observe uh jesus in his early church you realize that he never disregarded that personal evangelism jesus never disregarded personal evangelism and i would like us to go through a few scriptures i did promise 10 minutes but unfortunately uh the 10 minutes has passed but we are almost done um we will not be able to go through all the scriptures but when we look at Matthew, Matthew, um, Matthew was one through that one-to-one uh, -one evangelism, that personal evangelism. Matthew was 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 one through personal evangelism, and I would like to quickly read that scripture, Matthew chapter nine, verse nine. Uh, book of Matthew, chapter nine, verse nine. So as Jesus was walking along, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at his tax collector's booth. Follow me and be my disciple, Jesus said to him. So Matthew got up and followed him. So this was a personal evangelism that Jesus um, um, demonstrated there. You know, he saw Matthew sat there uh doing his business and then he went to matthew and told him to follow him and become his disciple and matthew obeyed he also warned the samaritan woman when you read john chapter 4 when you have time please go through these scriptures john chapter 4 he warned the samaritan woman and through that samaritan woman you know, people, other people came to know Christ. So personal evangelism is as effective as mass evangelism. So we shouldn't, we shouldn't feel like we are not doing much. It only takes one person to spread the gospel all across. Hallelujah. So it is as effective as mass evangelism. So the Bible says that Jesus Jesus spoke to the Samaritan woman and through the Samaritan woman many came to know Christ hallelujah but if you if you please find time to read John chapter 4 and then also Nicodemus Nicodemus was also worn through personal evangelism and then we have the thief who was on the cross with Jesus Luke chapter uh, the Nicodemus is John chapter 3 and the thief who was on the cross with Jesus is Luke chapter 23, verse 39 to 43. So please find time to read these scriptures. Because of time, we will not be able to go through all of them. But this shows us that, uh, you know, the personal evangelism and the mass evangelism are both very powerful and effective. 
And so therefore, we must demonstrate these methods of evangelism. And just to remind us once again that, you know, the, these, the, the suitable method of evangelism is determined by the Holy Spirit. Is determined by the Holy Spirit, uh, depending on the conditions and the purposes, is determined by the Holy Spirit, and therefore, and that's why we must ensure that we put God first. We we speak to the Holy Spirit before we 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 step out to evangelize, because He determines what form, what method we should use, depending on the situation. Hallelujah. And I believe that even as we do so, um, even as we continue to fulfill the Great Commission, even as we continue to fulfill the ministry of reconciling uh, people to Christ, He will continue to bless us. He will continue to, to fulfill our heart desires because the Bible says that He fulfills the heart desires of those who take delight in Him. And as we continue to obey his commands, he will continue to open the floodgates of heavens. He will continue to bless us in Jesus' mighty name. Beloved, shall we pray and thank God? Let us pray and thank God for his message that he has, he has blessed us with this morning. Let us pray and thank him. Father, Lord, we want to bless your holy name. We want to thank you for given us another opportunity once again. Lord, we are forever grateful. Whenever we come before your presence, we do not leave empty-handed. And for that, we want to say, we bless your holy name. We thank you for everything that you continue to do in our lives. Father, we are praying and thanking you, Father Lord, for the wisdom that you have, for the, for the, for, for the wisdom, for the knowledge, Father Lord, that you have blessed us with, for your word that you have blessed us with. Father, we bless your holy name. We thank you once again. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. God bless you all once again. And have a blessed and a productive day. In Jesus' name, amen.